modernize your applications by moving them to containers. Where have we heard that story before? Oh yeah, DockerCon circa three years ago. Google announced Google Anthos Migrate for helping you to migrate applications or modernize applications from legacy virtual machine, bare metal based architectures into cloud native magical containers. You know what? I'm torn. I really like the idea or the technology behind being able to migrate components of a traditional monolithic application into containers. The advantages are there, the ability to manage images versus VMs, the ability to abstract away the application code from the operating system and allowing you to rapidly deploy and manage IDs in a much more modern process, CI, CD, versus whatever you were doing before. Being able to change the technology is a catalyst to changing your methodology to deploying the technology. The, the economics around running in containers versus a VM. When you lift and shift to the cloud, a VM to VM mapping is usually much more expensive. We've talked about that on this channel. Versus moving into containers, Netflix has shown how you can optimize for cloud EC2 instances by putting multiple for like for like containers inside of a single EC2 instance, better optimizing your cloud spend. So I like that story. V, uh, I think Google did a poor job of telling that story, but that is a pretty good advantage. However, what they didn't talk about is the operational complexities around just simply moving VMs into containers. There's a reason why Docker failed at getting a mass number of customers to do that other than the Docker business issues. There's the challenge around, let's say, security. When I take an application that's designed to be isolated in a kernel and then put that inside of a container, I'm changing the security profile of the application's infrastructure. The application isn't necessarily aware that it's in a container versus a dedicated kernel. And from a security operations perspective, that hard shell that we normally have around applications based on VMs have to move to a container model. That's not a simple solution to find. So while I solve one security challenge when it comes to patch management, I introduce another one when it comes to colli collision domains when it comes to security between like-for-like -like applications. If I put a bunch of web servers on a single EC2 instance, I can kind of put that shell around the VM, that's VMware's approach. Or if I adopt NSXT and that technology, I can again extend my data center-like concepts to containers. But does it truly help versus hamper my desire to eventually move to cloud native? You know what, I roll a piece on this on the ctoadvisor.com. I'll provide a link in the comments session, but I'd love to hear your feedback. You can again see that and other content on the ctoadvisor.com. You can follow me on the web at ctoadvisor. Talk to you next CTO Dose.